Welcome to Amazing China. I'm Roseanne Lake. In our last episode, we learned all about the impressive buying power of the Chinese consumers in the car market. For them, owning two or three luxury cars is just a drop in the bucket. As a result, international car makers are aggressively turning their focus onto Chinese consumers, trying to find special ways to seduce the Chinese market. Aston Martin, Jeep Cherokee, and Smart have all come out with special Dragon editions that we're going to learn about in this episode. Automakers here are marketing the horsepower and sex appeal of their wheels, while also touting the benefits of leaner, greener, earth-friendly engines. But most importantly, these brands are pulling out all the stops to make their brands appealing to Chinese customers. A roomier Rolls-Royce Phantom, an Audi Q3 appearing in the color of a Chinese dragon, are just a few examples of marketing strategies done in favor of acquiring a slice of China's car market. Last year alone, sales of luxury vehicles rose 39 percent in mainland China. We expect that growth to remain strong in 2012 and for many years to come. Cadillac is just one case in point when it comes to making efforts to take up a bigger Chinese market share. Years of sales experience in China have given these auto tycoons a clearer picture of the taste of Chinese consumers. In some cases, Chinese customers are riding in the back seat. That's a significant difference. So you really need to design a vehicle that has all the right features and functionality that you need to have in a luxury vehicle in the back seat customer in China, maybe a man that comes into the dealership, he sits in the back seat and crosses his leg. If he can't cross his leg, then he deems that the back seat does not room enough. And that's a behavior that then drives a particular preference in the segment in the marketplace, and that's why we have a long, lot of long wheelbase sedans here. Right. With a luxurious and roomy back seat, Cadillac seems to be Chinese customers' popular definition of a fine car. If you have any doubt that the Chinese market is big on luxury, here's your proof. We have improved the whole drivetrain with a new transmission, which makes an even or gives an even smoother ride with Phantom. Rolls Royce has debuted an extended wheelbase version of its already huge Phantom at Auto China 2012. The Phantom is almost already six meters long, yet the engineers in Goodwood decided that its rear passengers really need an extra 9.8 inches of legroom. All told, the Phantom Extended wheelbase is now 20 feet long, making it nearly half the length of the largest school buses on American roads. Some manufacturers are also incorporating the striking dragon element into their design projects. We are celebrating 20 years of Ferrari presence in China. For, for this reason, we present a, 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 a special series of a 458 Italia with a special livery, which is, uh, has the dragon, of course. And so there is the, 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 the symbol of this year for the China, the dragon who meets uh, the prancing horse, which is our symbol to understand and to underline the link there between Ferrari and this country. What we see here is the Audi Q3 Jinlong Yufeng. Jinlong means golden dragon and Yufeng means to control a phoenix. Featuring a Liuli yellow paint finish, this Audi Q3 will be just like a dragon flying through the lanes. And if the marketing holds true, this car will also help its owner score a lovely Phoenix to serve as his co-pilot. But will these thoughtful designs successfully win Chinese customers' hearts? I don't like those extended wheelbase ones. I don't care whether they have Chinese elements, as long as they look fashionable and cool. I like limited editions with Chinese elements, which can make me different. I have two kids now, so I want to buy a large family car. Though I have to say I was thoroughly impressed by some of those new cars being rolled out on the Chinese market. You see this road behind me? In about 20 minutes at 5 o'clock, it's going to be bumper to bumper traffic for the next two hours. So although China's cars certainly have something to admire, its roads uh, still leave something to be desired. 
As a result, I'm going to let the Chinese luxury car consumers stick to the roads and I'm going to stick to the sidewalks where I can ride my e-bike. For this episode of Amazing China, I'm Roseanne Lake. See you next time.